You can find all of your properties by clicking on Properties on the left-hand sidebar menu. Now, when you first connect your Airbnb, VRBO, and Booking.com accounts to Hospitable.com, we're going to show each one of your listings as a separate property. It'll be up to you to let our system know which properties are like listings and merge them together from your side. The way to do this is to click on the checkbox found on the left-hand side and then click the Merge button that appears at the bottom. Once merged together, you'll see that the listing account goes up and the highlighted platforms will also go up. If you click on a, any single one of your properties, you'll be taken to the property details page. You'll land on the merge and match page. And on this page, you can add any additional listings that are already associated with your account. This is also where you'll see the sync feature. Our sync feature will automatically be turned on once you merge like listings together, um, but this is where you can toggle it, toggle it on or off. The sync feature will help avoid double bookings by blocking out dates on all other listings when we detect a reservation on one listing. So for example, if we detect a reservation on this Airbnb listing, we will then block out those dates on this VRBO listing. Below the sync feature, we have the export calendar feature. Now this feature allows you to export all of the reservations associated with your property as an iCal feed. If you click on the copy iCal feed link, you can then import this link into your calendar service like Google Calendar. Finally, on this page, you can mute this property and all listings associated with it, which will hide it from all the features that hospitable.com has. Below the Merge and Match page, we have the Details page. Now, this is where you can add any tags to this property you'd like. This is where you can see the photos that are associated with your Airbnb listing. Below that, this is where we allow you to edit the details associated with your Airbnb listing. You can see this with the edit buttons on the, on the right-hand side here. Moving on, we have the Calendar and Markups. Now, when you click on the calendar, you'll be taken directly to the single property calendar page. I'll go over this in details in the calendar section. I will also go over markups in detail in the calendar section, so I'm going to skip both of those. Below here, we have guest experience, operation, and custom codes. If you click on any single one of the tabs below guest experience and operations, or if you click on custom codes, you'll see all of the rules that are associated with this property already. So for example, if you click on guest experience, you can click on messaging rules, and you can see all of the messaging rules that are currently scoped to this property. 